With the erosion that I see with criminal activity going on in this city, I question whether or not I want to stay here. And there's a lot of other tax-paying citizens, people who vote for you, council members, for the city, who are questioning that same thing. Now, we have plenty of laws on the books to cover every sort of conduct mentioned. This law is specifically meant to harass the homeless, and at the same time, suspend due process. These rules are not intended to single out any group, but rather to give the police a tool to maintain public safety. Unfortunately, some individuals have morphed this issue into being an attack on the homeless. I find such actions using those less fortunate in order to further one's own personal standing morally reprehensible. There is 20 laws in the books, I printed out right here, 20 laws, all together, I read them all, one at a time, that are beyond the books, that are, that are, good, that are basically disorderly conduct, most mentioned, most harassment, harassment, burglary, trespass, all these things that these citizens are mentioning, already on the books. And another thing that really upsets me, and I don't know if anyone else is going to say it, but since I'm up here, I'm really surprised that people can come in here that don't even live here mm -hmm. and be able here. to make mm -hmm. a statement mm -hmm. when they, they're not even part of this community. Mm -hmm. This is about us. This is about where we live. So I want to read the flyer that I, uh, we just created. So there is three people that say, one say, uh, uh, Ordinance 621 discriminates me. Uh, Ordinance 621 dehumanizes me. And Ordinance 621 criminalized me. The city of Buring is spending 56% of the city budget in police and just 1.25% in human resources. That is what actually our city manager told who's going to be meeting with him. The motivation was to create a helpful tool to help address behavior problems. That's a lie. On Please. public property, Please. let me speak. Can I have him dismissed? Every girl interrupted me. Do something about it. Why, why do we? I know. I know. Hang on, folks. So the second um, person is interrupted. Thank you. The you know, Burien appears to be close by on the map and starting to feel, at times, like a piece of the old South. Um, as, as many of you know, <laughs> as many of you know, uh, it's not our right to go to the shores of the public Lake Burien, <coughs> unless you're one of the privileged few who own, owns the land there. And but the taxes. library, and, 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 and pay taxes, taxes yeah. huh? Oh, but the library is different. Our taxes pay the library. Ask yeah. yourself, please, please. just to be clear, everyone who no, buys anything in the about state, about this state is a taxpayer. Once we address our social disorder, only then can we address other pressing problems we are facing as a community. I am here to ask you, the Burien City Council, put aside your personal agendas and start working together on behalf of Burien citizens. Mm -hmm. Stop revisiting this issue and move forward building a safer Burien. Those of us that are committed to a safe Burien will not be threatened, coerced, or intimidated by outside groups whose sole interest and purpose is to create chaos in our neighborhood. We are people who live, work, and own businesses in Burien who are committed to having a crime-free community. The voters will take careful note as to who supports public safety in this next election. Criminal behavior is illegal. Make your cops do their jobs and arrest people for criminal behavior. Do not allow them to posit that this person was unreasonable and then not have to live up to that standard of criminal behavior. That is the problem with the law. We're going to keep coming here and keep fighting it because we can't allow this kind of a human right abuse to happen so near to us. We're human rights activists. If this is happening 10 miles from our house, we can't call ourselves activists anymore. We're going to keep coming and keep coming until you repeal the ordinance. One day I would say, can you not on both sides show honor to each other as much as you may disagree? I am not, that this council, what I hear about this council politically, I probably disagree with them tremendously. With some of you, I may disagree with you tremendously. But if we all have our different opinions, we can at least respect each other. And that's my position, is respect each other. I think there's a balance on both sides. I can hear both sides, I have my personal opinion. I don't feel led to speak it, but can we honor each other in the midst of the discussion? Yeah, yeah. Come on, we fight! We, we win! win. More houses! <laughs>
Let's go!